Hello, welcome back to another video. We're gonna have a look at this match and see how it went. I'm playing against Lewis here, who I've warmed up against twice in these tournaments. This was the first time I played him because we were in the same group this time. And I watched a few of his games, and I mean, yeah. Gotta finish, you gotta stop the point, unfortunately. I was watching a few of his games, and he does like to chop a little bit when he's defending. So, that was just one thing I noticed. Also, I did I did notice that, that this survey does quite a lot. It's quite heavy, backsman. And well, even on the first receive, I tried to push it and I went into the net, so... I'm pretty sure I didn't adjust to that in time in this game, in this match. Yeah, it seems to be... Either that was just a weak lift from me, or he's just giving good backspin. Again, I, I hope it's not a repeat of the last game I watched where I just keep on flicking it into the net. Okay, the last one, a bit more spinny. I like that finish on the forehand. And I did actually get the opening backhand on because I brushed the ball more. Not in the right position there to forehand it. That, that is just a ball to finish. So I haven't seen that serve yet. Quite often those back those backhand serves to my my forehand I just I struggle with. So I mean in rallies I think we're pretty even when we get into it. I had a few more finishing shots I think but I also made more unforced errors and he was able to chop a few of my balls and I should have finished a few of those points. Seven ten go. Okay. Two nice receives there. Oh, sorry, I've started it halfway through the set. Going from the beginning. Right, 7.35, go. Sorry, 6.27, go. The time keeps on changing. Oh, nice, I like that. I just feel a lot more confident on my forehand, I guess. I re I realise that ball is spinny, so you've got a closing angle. Nice. Caught him out there with the Toxton serve. So nice lead here. Huh? 
maybe what I need to do is pump myself up now while I'm ahead to keep the leads because I seem to only do it when I'm down a few points and then it works now and I think I can see I'm frustrated with myself but I'm still up two points it's just because I've lost the two previous points and you know I didn't hit massive finishes I guess in the first few ones but I, I should be celebrating, I should be pumped up, and I should be wanting to just continue this lead. Nice. I wouldn't have been able to recover in time if it went on the backhand, because I just stood up for some reason, but... Okay, he got... Yeah, again, I'm, I'm realizing too close to the table. But it was nice that he got the, um... Got my reverse pendulum serve back and pushed it along. Too much of a swing there, I think. But that was nice. A nice open up from him. Where are the uh, topspin serves? They were effective. Let's see if I do one of them. So frustrating. Again, it's just keep carrying the point on until until the end. Just keep on going. The point is not over until it's over. There we go. And that time, yeah, he he gets the the chop back. But I'm glad I, I noticed. I should probably have done that serve. Because it worked before. Good. Let's see, can I finish the stats? Again, I need to vary the serve up. I haven't done my like weak pendulum serve. There we go. That's... Okay, so I played well that set. It's just again, I remembered that I didn't win the set, and I had that I had a strong lead from the start, and I just needed to. My mindset wasn't there for some reason. Even when I was leading, I was I felt somewhat disappointed in myself when. I shouldn't feel that way, just take the points as they are. Even if the opponent does just hit them into the net, you know, that's still a point. I'm pretty sure we look for this ball for a while, so I'm gonna... Oh, here we go. 12-8, uh, go. Two great backhands from him, and then he chops, which was a mistake. Yeah, slightly too late to that flick. He does like push, uh, touching wide there. There we go, that's a bit better of a flick. Nice points, I'm happy with that. 
because so many of his serves go to my backhands, maybe I could try to do a pivot, but yeah, I'm just not in the right position now. But those last few serves are very quick and spinny. He told me after the game that my reverse pendulum was like my strongest serve because he was saying there's a lot of side spin on it and even when he tried to push it it would just the side spin would just make it go into the net. Which is like counts to what I thought it would do. That happened in, but in uh, earlier in the match too, on the backhand. I'm hitting four hands, then they block the backhand and I just miss it it. I can probably train that with some sort of drill. previous point I stood up after hitting a backhand I think, I, I hit a backhand block and I was basically fully standing up I think in particular here I just didn't want the, the set to slip away from me and I knew it was you know relatively close between both of us so I had been trying to use timeouts to pump myself up, but, you know, maybe I could experiment and do a timeout when I'm winning. That would be, that'd be nice, because quite often I can't extend the lead out to a, a win. Silly. Good point from there. I like how I did a backhand on mine. I need to stop blocking the back the backhand like that. like a bit of a, a, a drop shot I need to just um, actually continue attacking with the backhand that will come back from me. Oh! Silly, why did I just pop it up like that? Damn, I had a chance of winning that point, I think, if I just carried on attacking. 
And I actually spoke to Lewis at the end, and he said, the one thing he said was, yeah, that, well, I think he said more than one thing, but he pointed out about my reverse pendulum serve and how, you know, I really should just do it more. And I said that I missed one. I had one unforced error with that serve in that last set. And then when it was like 10, when I was like 10 4 down, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do it again. Because um, I can hear he's talking about the serve. Because I didn't want to, you know, lose the game on a serve. But he was like, oh, you know, risk it for a biscuit. Yeah, I mean, good, good match from him. That was, that was good fun. And yeah, I, I feel like it's quite similar to the previous game where I was able to get some forehand attacks in. It was just finishing some of them and also serve, serve and receive in general, I think. I could have varied my serves a little bit more few more topspin serves because he didn't like them and those you know spinny pendulum norm, normal standard pendulum serves which are quite good but I don't do enough I just do the standard backspin ones but I should not do them as much okay thank you for watching have a great rest of your day goodbye <laughs>